Brethren, the nugget that I've taken from Solomon today is entitled The Broken Column. It's an explanation of the significance and symbolism of the depiction of a broken column in respect to a Masonic life cut short and or to Masonic widowhood. People often ask, what is the Masonic significance of a brooch featuring a broken column? Normally that of an upright but shattered column with its Corinthian capital lying alongside. The phrase broken column has also been in use for over 200 years as an allusion to Hiram Abiff and all things Masonic and as part of the three great pillars said to support a lodge. One identified with wisdom, which is the Ionic column, another with strength, the Doric, and the last with beauty, the Corinthian, as first mentioned in the Cook manuscript of 1410. It was the pillar of beauty which became symbolically broken in two with the untimely death of Hiram Abiff. While the pillar of wisdom was quickly identified with King Solomon and that of strength with Hiram of Tyre, and because of Hiram Abiff's immense contribution to the beauty of the great temple of Jerusalem, as detailed in over 40 verses of the first book of Kings, it had seemed appropriate that his name should become permanently associated with the pillar of beauty. As one Masonic lecture later noted, the great pillars are emblematic of those divine attributes and the Corinthian pillar of beauty further represents Hiram Abiff for his curious and masterly workmanship in beautifying and adorning the temple. A wider use of the phrase broken column to represent all untimely Masonic deaths arose in another century and on another continent. Its origins were American and they are attributed to a highly respected 19th century American Masonic historian, Brother Jeremy L. Cross of New York. He was looking for a Masonic symbol to use in a new order that he was writing. Wandering through a churchyard, he found a memorial stone dedicated to a distinguished Civil War naval hero. However, over time, all that remained of the memorial was one of the supporting columns broken off at the base. This put him in mind of some Old Testament verses. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? Which is in the book of Psalms. And in the book of Isaiah, Egypt's columns are broken down. Brother Cross recognised how apt this was for Hiram Abiff and recalled that in Hebrew the symbolic allusion was to a prince or ruler being a pillar of the state whose life had been cut short in its prime. We still use the phrase pillar of the community today. When such a leader was buried a broken column was placed on his tomb as an indication that, although his life had been spent in supporting all that was good and just in his realm, his role as a pillar of state had now been broken prematurely. Some lodges adopted a brooch symbolising the broken column to present to a lodge widow in commemoration of a partner whose life was cut down far too short. When presenting the brooch to her, it was frequently accompanied by some appropriately tender words or verses in his memory, such as, There are stars that go out in the darkness, but those silvery light shineth on. There are roses whose perfume still lingers when the blossoms are faded and gone. Next time you see a brooch depicting a broken column, pause and perhaps very gently inquire of its wearer. It may tell of a very poignant story and you'll almost certainly have given its wearer great comfort in knowing that his memory is alive and has not been forgotten. Brethren, I hope you've enjoyed this nugget and you'll be looking forward to hearing some more presentations and nuggets in due time. Thank you very much indeed for your attention.